hello there. Now, I was kind of scrolling through Facebook today and came across where a guy was talking about the opioid crisis and Narcan and how suddenly, you know, you can, the government's paying for Narcan to be put out all over the place and to keep the people from ODing on opioids. It's supposed to counteract opioid, you know, and uh, it's an interesting thing because uh, the it's problem reaction solution. One of the things that we found is that who the drug company came up with the opioid, and so they they went to the FDA and said, "Look, we got this great thing that, to deal with pain and all." And so opioids here's our studies and all and uh, our studies show that you know it can become addictive and there's all kinds of side effects is what they call them effects and that the FDA said well, well hey man that's cool we approve this for use and then doctors start prescribing it like crazy, and the addictions start. Uh, it starts out with just people that are coming out of surgery, and and uh, you know the doctor gives them a prescription for so many days, and then the next thing you know, uh, they're asking for more, and the doctors give them more and more, and then. The doctor says no, and where do these people go? They go to the black market to get what they want because now they're addicted to it. And then, of course, the black market gives them what they want. And, and then the government says, well, there's an opioid crisis and all these experts and everything jump up. Oh, there's an opioid crisis. What are we going to do? Well, then they start all kinds of government programs and state-run programs and all that to uh, treat the opioid addictions. And so they, ne they spend more tax money curing a problem that should have never happened because the experts shouldn't have proved this stuff to begin with. So there's a problem. They've created the problem, opioid addictions and all. And everybody's hollering, man, help us, help us. So they create the programs, which generates even more money. And uh, all the uh, drug companies come up with this Narcan and all these things that get you off of opioid addiction and all. And the state finances all these uh, programs to get people off the addiction, you know, like the Alpha Center that that is a private company, but it gets all, uh, most of its funds from state and state mandated stuff. Although there's some debate about that, I've heard them say that 70% of it is comes from uh, outside sources, you know, people seeking help and all. And maybe that's true, maybe it's not. But they're government subsidized anyway. And then the state creates all these laws and all, and law enforcement does all this interdiction, and, and then, you know, it just adds to the drug war. My government started it in the first place. And then you look at the companies that make the opioids. They've made billions and billions and billions of dollars and murdered all kinds of people because you might as well consider it premeditated. They knew it was going to cause this problem. And they went ahead with it. So that's premeditated, basically premeditated murder. And yet they're rewarded with billions of dollars. Now the Sadlers, I think it was the Sadlers who owned the company that did the opioid thing. They got sued and they had to put out some few 
$3.8 billion out of the untold billions that they made out of it. And that goes to the government to subsidize these programs and all, but that's just a drop in the bucket compared to what taxpayers are on the hook for in the first place. So even the co the companies make billions and the government makes billions. And the people get the shit. <laughs> it's it's kind of interesting how that works. And you'll notice that on all kinds of other programs. Look at your... Uh, uh, Corona Rona deal. Hell. Who benefited out of that? Well, it was the drug companies making the shots. It was the government because of the lockdowns and all that. It was the, they gained power and all. And it was the the uh, medical uh, manufacturers, mask and all that. Then think about the dots on the floor and the plexiglass and all that. How many people had to, you know, how many billions of dollars was made off of the little dots on the floor and the plexiglass and the people that got to put the plexiglass up and all that. Everywhere you look, it's like that. Look at your roads. Remember all the gas tax here in South Carolina? They're going to raise the gas tax. They're going to fix the roads and all. Look at this rash of bridges. <laughs> bridges falling. Bridges being worked. All oh, they're chipping off. They're all kinds of stuff. Half-ass paving roads. The billions and billions and billions of dollars raised right there are just... A little bit of it goes in the roads, and most of it goes to, to the big corporations. It's true I, I, every single thing that you look at. So you, you, do you want to trust these experts that cause a problem to get the reaction? You scream and holler, help us, help us, fix our roads, stop the opioids off. And then they offer the solution, which makes them more money or gains more power. This is what it's like to live on the plantation of Slave Landia. You see, the whole thing is to make the most amount of profit off of each individual as possible with the least amount of input and trouble. That's why you have government, to maximize profit and put the liability on the very people that you're profiting from, the target, the human population. That's why it's a plantation. We live on the plantation. Nobody even thinks about it. Nobody even notices. Oh, I'm free. I'm free, they say. <laughs> yeah. Free as a dog on a chain. Something else to think about, boys and girls. Till next time. Peace.